you want to go from hair like this to this, then keep on watching. This is actually requested by two lovely subscribers of mine, so here it is. Um, to start off this look, I used a brush. This is by Ion. I got it at Sally's, and I'm just going to brush out all my tangles. And yes, my hair does look kind of greasy. That is because I used an olive oil hair mask the night before, and yeah, I just wanted to keep all the oil just in as much as possible. I'm going to wash my hair tonight <laughs> anyways. Um, this is the heat protectant I use. It's called Beyond the Zone. I also got it at Sally's. I believe it was around 7 to $9. Now I go back in with the brush, and then I comb out or distribute with the comb the heat protectant. It is oil-based, so it, be careful with it. It can make your hair look really greasy as if it's not oily enough. <laughs> um, once I style it though, the oil kind of evaporates, I guess you can say, and you can't tell that it looks oily like that, like it does right now. So for my curling iron, you want a thick, a thick one. <laughs> Thicker the better. Um, for this curling iron, it's actually 1 and 1 fourth inch by Conair. It's only like around $10, maybe 12 at Target. I believe it's 10 at Walmart. Um, love this curling iron to death. As you can see, I'm having a heat stroke here. <laughs> It is effing hot in my room, and yeah, so I just start by, I actually curl my top pieces first. As you can see, I have really short layers. They're kind of tapered, razored in a way. Actually, um, yeah, what was I doing there? Oh, turning on my fan. This is why I muted the video, because my fan was on, because it was so hot here in Southern California. So I'm just curling my hair. Oh yeah, the, the direction I'm curling my hair is outwards, so the hair is behind the curling iron and then you turn that way. It goes the same way for the both sides of the hair. They're both going to go outwards. It is so hot. As you can see, <laughs> I'm like dying in here. Um, so I just start from the top and work my way down. The reason I start from the top and not the bottom is because I feel like my hair is not long enough as I would like it. So I like to curl the top so I curl the less. Ugh. So it ends up curling the bottom of my hair a little bit less, which makes it look like I have more length since I curl the bottom less. Because if I ever start from the bottom, I feel like I have to perfect every curl on the bottom. And then I end up, since the curl is too perfect, it's too spiral, so it then it takes away from the length, if you know what I mean. It makes it more curlier than it needs to be. So for the bottom, I just burly curl it, and for the top is where I really focus on the curl. I'm just fixing my makeup there. My um, concealer is starting to crease a little. So yeah, as you can see, I speed through this really fast. Actually, this is like a really simple, simple hair do. Really, all it is is like as long as you have a little bit of layers or some kind of movement in your hair, it's really simple. The main part that I kind of like voiceovers because I can ramble while you guys just watch me do my hair. But as you guys see, I speeded it up because I didn't want you guys to be too focused because really, it's none of the curls are ever perfect. Yes, yes, Joanna, it is there. Um, None of them are really perfect. All it really is is mess with curling them because we're going to shush. I, I call it shushing. <laughs> You'll shush out the curls and work on the teasing in a little bit. And if anything is out of So stay tuned for my... Oh, oh yeah, for the bangs. I was going to say stay tuned for my um, eyebrow tutorial. But for my bangs, I take that brush I told that I got at Sally's. I go in a downwards position and then I curl the tip of it. Just the tip. And it gives you this. You see that? That is what you want. So that is how I get my bangs. Um, the next trick is I have to tease my bangs so that the front part goes to the... It gets more spread it out. As you see, I just spread it out with my fingers after I tease it. So I tease the root, I fluff them up, and then I like bring them towards the opposite direction. And that is how they look separated and, as I guess, voluminous in a way. So as you can see, once I tease my uh, bangs, one side of my hair looks really flat, so I always tease that side first, shush out the teasing a little bit, go to the other side where there's more hair. This side I tease a lot less because there's less hair. Um, and yeah, it looks a little funny at first, but once you comb it out, as you see, it's easy as one, two, and three. I think the look works a lot better with the more layers. Oh, look, there's a straight tease. Did you see that? <laughs> I didn't see that when I was videotaping. Wow, I had a straight tease in there. It's all good. Yes, my hair does look like an oily mess, but it's all good. Once it's styled, can't even tell, girl. You can't even tell. Um, I actually ran out of dry shampoo, hence why I didn't use it in this tutorial. Um, if you're wondering, I like.
like to use the Dove dry hair shampoo. So yeah, just keep adjusting, fixing it, fix the bangs, and you went from that a list of products. Always check the description bar. I list everything down below. And stay tuned for my other subscriber who asked for the look I wear in the Hello Kitty look. Um, it is coming up. Just wait a second. One second. It's very hot. This has been a minute. Right here. <laughs> I will start the other look. I'm using two bobby pins. I cross them together like so. Now this is the look where I put one side of my hair to the side. Um, the first time I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to put it and you will see right now. I just take a section like this and boom. <laughs> you pin it. <laughs> but I will show you on the other side. For this look I actually put both sides back. But really if you wanted the exact look from the other one you just had to pin one side. So you take about an inch section like this from right above your ear. Then you're going to braid it. So I am, promise you I'm not this fast at braiding my hair. It's just that I speeded it up. But wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Since braiding is kind of tedious. Um, also, if you like the makeup look, go to the other be the other beauty video, the makeup idol, and you can vote for this look. Since I need a tiebreaker. In look number three and look number six. Also, go check out the description bar. I know I told you, but before, but check out my vlog channel if you haven't yet. I would love to for you guys to go subscribe. If you guys have any more requests, makeup looks, hair looks anything like that you guys can always leave it in my inbox or comment down below I always try to get um, do as many as I can for you guys and respond to you as much as possible um, yeah so if you guys like it then stay tuned subscribe to my channel like this video if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video bye guys love you Mwah.